When through my ring doorbell footage, I think I have a stalker. On mobile, so I apologize in advance for any mistakes I didn't catch I will fix it when I get off of work later. Ring video linked at bottom. I don't think I'm breaking any rules by sharing this footage, but please delete if so. I shared my ring doorbell with my buddy who asked me if I had ever watched the doorbell messages she had left for me. I have never thought about looking at who's rang my doorbell. For some reason I don't take that feature seriously so I flipped through the recorded videos not expecting to see anything other than my friends as they come inside, my roommate and I sometimes doing an outfit check on the fucking doorbell. An evidence of how often I use DoorDash probably. Let me just say first. I was confused as to why he wouldn't just ask me what he needed to ask me while I am in public outside, and in a more normal place to approach someone rather than obviously overstep a boundary, and make me question whether or not I'm safe when I walk down the street with my dogs or if I genuinely need to be looking for my shoulder. No clue who this is or what he could want, but why but here are the creepiest videos in question. I went back and looked at my ring notification history just to see right before he rings my doorbell what came came immediately before, and I mean within the minute, was me finishing my walk with my one of my dogs. Once I get inside my building which is a big house that has an unlocked front door during the day, so that's why I didn't lock it behind me I guess. It was roughly a minute for him to come inside immediately after me. Each time I've never seen this man before. And I had no idea anyone ever followed me inside or tried to get me to come to the door for whatever reason more than once. I literally do not know anything so for what that's worth I kind of feel like maybe I'm being stalked. Is it weird of me to think that maybe it does have something to do with my dogs? That might sound stupid, but they are a really interesting breed. I've heard of people stealing animals I just don't know what to think of this entire situation. There really isn't much I can do besides let my landlord know and he'll just tell me to call the police. In which case I wouldn't even know what to say. To the man leaving weirdest cryptic shit on my ring, please. Let's definitely not meet. Oh lord I was scared watching this. Then I read he shows up a minute or so after you get home. I'd start carrying mace or whatever legal substance object you can carry without legal ramifications, or consequences to you in your state or location. I def would alert roommates and perhaps see if the unlocked door policy can be changed. I'd even put up a poster of this guy's face at the front do not let in if you are allowed to do so and nobody knows him. Let's him know everyone can recognize him and everyone will be on alert. Are your dogs intimidating looking? Hoping so and so sorry this is happening. After reviewing the videos. Dude appears to not mentally be all there. I would suggest increasing security. Always look over your shoulder by the way. Rather be safe than sorry. It might be a good idea to talk to the police about it. Show them the videos. They probably can't do anything about it yet, but if it escalates and you need to report the man, there'll be something to show it's an ongoing issue. I'll post an update and clarify when I get back to my apartment. I'm out of town for the holiday. I'm not sure how to go about making a police report with just these videos alone, but maybe they can look at all my footage get a ring for the outside door if the rest of the tenants are open to that. My landlord doesn't care about changing the lock and won't do it that I know for sure. There have been similar weird incidents but nothing this alarming. I'll share what's going on with the rest of the people who live in my building. Thank you all so much for waking me the fuck up. Did you not hear the doorbell? Just curious. And this should be reported to the police. He's clearly attempting to hide his face in the videos. Does he say anything you can hear? Him trying to steal your dog seems like the best case scenario. The guy is definitely stalking you and trying to get into your home under false pretenses. Please don't feel silly going to the police. Honestly my first thought was he looks like he is pretending to be in distress after ringing the bell. And then just like walking away when he realizes the door may not open. Could be too much crime junkies be careful of ruses people. Is he actually ringing the doorbell? Or just making it look like he is? 
I would think you'd hear the bell go off if you had only just gone inside. It's worrisome how in that first one he completely covered his face and then in the second one covered most of it. It seems like he's making an effort in them to make sure you can't recognize him later. He may even be known to the police. Show them the videos, please. Good luck, I am not comfortable, had to watch those clips a few times. Almost like he puts his hands on his face in prep, to convince you of something wrong or needing help, like so many red flags, damn. Looks as if he's trying to put on an act as if he needs help he's scared anxious or something and then when you don't answer he drops the act. This isn't right at all and you need to report it to the police. Who knows if he is doing this to anyone else or is known to them. Try to get yourself some protection and call the police and show them this stuff please. I would have sent this vids to the police yesterday. It would be great if you got this figured out and him handled before I see those videos on Dateline some Friday in the future. Please see if the police can do anything. You could do a reverse sting op, have a friend posted outside, find as to where he comes from. Find out where he lives, find out how long he has been following you. That should give you an idea as to when you are most likely in danger and when to be most prepared. He might be following you for a lot longer than you think. Lots of good advice here. I would add, if you usually have earbuds in while you're out walking, don't put them in anymore. If he tries to stop you and engage you on the street, don't stop moving. Keep walking to a crowded or public area, preferably one with security, before engaging. Other videos date and time stamped? Is there a pattern to days of the week or times of day that he shows up? Print stills of these videos, take them to your door, with a note that says don't come here again, police have been notified. Are we supposed to be able to hear him speaking? The videos have no sound so idk what the cryptic messages say but regardless this is 100 stalking, no reason to be so hesitant to call it what it is although I know you must be terrified to even admit it to yourself that this is happening. I'm so sorry you're going through this and I really hope you stay safe. Please consider taking these videos to your local police department, and seeing if they'll arrange for a police officer to meet a friend neighbor at your apartment while you walk your dog, and then to open the door after you return and this guy does this so they can get his ID and question him at a minimum. I felt so uncomfortable looking at those videos, please go to the police because at least there'll be a paper trail if they can't do anything yet, and maybe try to see if the landlord RE agent could identify him possibly. If the main door is unlocked you have no idea if he's a resident or not. Whatever else you do, make sure the locks and the metal plates that secure the lock bolt into the door frame are reinforced. It's ridiculously easy to kick in a door. No way to convince the landlord to start locking the front door to the public day or night. A few people already mentioned that he doesn't seem all there but this should be underlined. I'm not an expert in mental illness by any means but I've been around it more than most. His mannerisms such as freezing for moments doing minor but I effective gestures to conceal his identity, and showing signs of significant anxiety could be signs of schizophrenia. That can be crazy dangerous if you have become unwittingly part of a delusion of his. Please stay safe. Is there any updates on this story? Use the intercom feature if he does it again tell him the police are on their way. Any update OP? Hope you're okay. Really worried about you OP. Are you okay? Why does he have that bag with him every time? The fact his bag is different every time wids me out idky. Why exactly have you never responded to the doorbell? What the fuck those videos are so creepy. Does he say anything in the videos? Or does he just stand there awkwardly until he realizes no one's answering? Dude this is terrifying. The videos alone, so sketchy and unnerving. And honestly it looks like he tries to partially cover his face at times, this guy is up to no good. Get some pepper spray for your walks, start being more attentive of your surroundings and make sure that door is locked behind you. Additionally I would reach out to your neighbors and make them aware of the situation. Scary stuff.